thankfully I've got I've got two big brothers, so when they were teenagers, I was about four or five, and, and we're just just br- brought up with the Beatles and the Beatles. Stones. Beatles, I started playing guitar too. Really, That's what really got me fantastic. away. Fantastic, fantastic. Let me just get into yeah, this. No they are, you know who that is, don't you? You know what the song's called. Don't need to be here, do I really? Uh, eight minutes past three, it's Nick Piercy here at BBC Radio Oxford. Now, creating their own take on traditional folk, Ferocious Dog take the traditional instruments, and fiddles and whistles and mandolins, and kind of mix them all up with a bit of a raw buzzsaw attitude to rock and roll. Don't take my word for it. Have a listen to Slow Motion Suicide. Oh, there we are. Oh. It's a very quiet intro there. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, let me just let me just do that again and intri- introduce Ferocious Dog with slow motion suicide. Why is that not working? Oh, it's because it's got about three second gap at the beginning. That's why. Sorry, what happened? There was a three second silence at the beginning of the track, so I didn't think anything was playing. What was? This I've always played somebody songs, else. But this is the, luckily, we did this as a radio edit. Oh, okay. The, the best bit of this song is the instrumental right at the end. So yeah. It's out of this world. I won't talk over it then. No, this is a very short one because it's, half of it is singing, another half is the instrumental. Yeah, yeah. Which makes it twice as long. Oh, right, right. I've got Three you. minutes singing. Yeah, yeah. Three, so it's over six, it's going seven minutes. Oh, God. How is this? So how does it sound then? Sorry about that. That was. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm thinking. Don't well, panic. Don't nothing's panic. nothing's happened. It's like nothing well, that's not right, is it? Can't it's it? dog. It's bound to happen. <laughs> <laughs> These things happen. Right. Can I just? Can, can you just play a bit? Yeah. The song I'm going to be singing is. Uh, Sorry. Let's just. Let me just move that mic. Is that? Sing a bit as well, then. I had a fight in my head today, and I'm standing my life now. Can't you say? To walk away will be a bigger man, but the bigger fight in my life, can't you say? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah so there's, there's a little bit of separation. The guitar's coming through on your uh, on your vocal mic, yeah, but, but the guitar mic is quite clean, so oh I can just God. tweak it a little bit. Well, this one we pick. It, it was written about my son who died. Yes, I've got back from Afghan, so I've got I've got that right. to to, uh, to talk about if that's all right. Yeah. So, uh, so we do it for Lee Bonson Memorial Fund. Yeah. We set up in his name and yeah, we yeah. donate massively to combat stress. Yeah, well, yes. So if you, so if you like to put that in as well, yeah, combat no, stressing. Yeah, we work hand in hand with them. I've got that. I've got that all in my questions. You're all right. You're all right. Any other questions? What? what <laughs> oh no! 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 Heaven forbid. So it'll get short because it's just what I, uh, the way I do it. I always, you know, it's like we met in Costa. Yeah. And I said, "What do you do? Oh, I play guitar. I come from Sheffield, and yeah, I do this and do that." And I go, "Do you really?" Mm. And we just carry on from there. None of this, you know. Oh, it's deep and meaningful, whatever. It's just, it's just a chat. What and some, sometimes it's you will say something, and I'll and I'll go, "Hang on a minute, that's I, I need to talk about that." So that's all. So. There we go. There we go. There we are. That's Ferocious Dog and Slow Motion Suicide. Let's welcome Ken Bonsall to the studio. Ken, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are we doing all right? That, that isn't folk music. That's like good old-fashioned rock and roll. Well, it is, but it's an extended version that uh, plays lots of fiddle and banjo. And oh, stuff right. Like okay. We... we this is a radio edit. We, <laughs> it's, a, it's a, well, it's a good job. We're a, we're a radio station. <laughs> and where did all this music start then? Was it yeah when you were a lad or what? Yeah, I, I think uh, 
growing up like, to the the Pogues and things like that, and I was brought up heavily on uh, traditional Irish music, so uh, that's had a, a big thing in, in the way that I write music, want to perform yeah. music. Yeah. My, my son's a, a really good fiddle player from being you know eight year old growing up classically trained, but really just a oh, good brilliant. fiddle player. So yeah, fantastic. Yeah, but you have quite the story because you because you were born and raised in a mining community. Yeah, that's right. Which, uh, particularly at well at the wrong time for mining communities. Yeah. Um, leaving school in 1984, my family was on strike till end, especially in North Knotts. You know, it, yeah. to, to stop on strike was uh, uh, yeah, really, really hard. So what? So what was the day-to-day -day life like then for a family and a, you know, a youngster just just leaving school like it, yourself? In Knotts, it was horrible. Like, cause it, it was more like a police state, just walking around our pit villages. People can't really understand unless you were there what it was like in Knotts or or the coal fields in North or. You know, uh, it, it really wasn't a very good time. So I think that's what comes out in a lot of movies, songwriting, political wise. You know, and right? You can see that. So, you, so you were a miner then? Yeah, for thirty years. For thirty years? Yeah, coal face. I, I finished at the last coal mine in Kellingley, in North Yorkshire. Uh, the last coal mine to be shut uh, last year. So that was a very hard, uh, hard time. To see all my friends up there as well. Mm. So yeah. How long have you been playing music then? Thirty years. <laughs> All right, let me let me <laughs> let me rephrase that. How how long have you been making a living out of playing music? Well, well I won't say making a living out of it. Uh, well, hang on, you were you were at Glastonbury last week. <laughs> yes. Stop yeah. it! Did you say you know? Come on. Yeah, uh, I should really big it up more sometimes, but yeah, <laughs> it, it's a, it's more of a, a way of life because you go from a transformation of uh, being a cover band and and just enjoy music and then taking it serious and writing your own albums and seeing how far you can take it and it's quite hard because we're not a signed band we said we'll never sign to a, to a label we're going to do it all ourselves right so you're using soundcloud and just the internet and and yeah and, and and crowdfunding things like that I suppose. yeah there's own promotion and, and all the gigs the money goes back into the band so we don't pay ourselves wages from it you know everything is to promote up until now yeah. we're getting to where we're at some kind of level where we can it, it's that one where you, you're taking it you're like serious. oh, oh should, I, should we shouldn't yeah, we yeah and, and that's a good feeling that, yeah, that's absolutely. what we've been working towards for a long time for probably the last five years of these two albums that we've but that, brought out but that keeps you on your toes surely oh yeah it keeps Cause you focused cause, well because it is sink or swim I guess it definitely is you know and uh, especially with, with the other lads in the band well, we've got younger kids. I mean, luckily, my, all my children have grown up. Yeah. So, uh, but it, it is one of them. It's quite hard, and you've got to be focused. You, you've got to really want it in, yeah. in the music industry to to do it the way that we're doing it. Yeah. But at least we have the, the full control of the band in the end to write which what is, we want. Yeah, which is yeah. good. Um, you're going to play live for us. You got your guitar yeah. with you. But uh, first of all, the song we played was called "Slow Motion Suicide." It's quite quite the title. Tell us, tell us, if you will, the story behind it. It really tells a story about the miners' strike and about the demise of these northeast villages, especially in probably yeah, Northumberland, where there was nothing. If, if you ever go up to Northumberland, you see like you know Easington and, and Ashington and these pit villages. From one minute, from a man being a, a breadwinner and so proud, and then he loses everything, and you know he ends up having to look after the kids, and it's an odd thing for them to cope with. The complete change in their lives, and they can't find jobs. And I watched a documentary on it, so I knew what they were talking about. So I just had to put pen to paper and write about yeah. what it felt like to be one minute so proud, working on a coal face, a working class hero, as you like, yeah. and then to have nothing and have lost everything. And then you know you see the the children turn into drugs in the street because there's no hope, no future. Everything's closed down in in the pit villages. It, it just to capture that feeling of what it was like in in the pit areas. Yeah. Yeah. After the, losing the strike, the demise, I suppose. And it seems, you know, to, to me and to people listening, I guess, just a, just a really strange way to be brought up. You know, you, when you're a kid, when you're in your teenage years, but also when you're a dad, you you, know, you suffer tragedy as well. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, <laughs> Lee, me youngest son, went into army because there were no pits. Or he would have followed me and gone into pits, but with pits would you, would you rather him going going? Down the pits and go into the army. Yeah, I would have done. Yeah, it, it were a way of life for us. You were yeah. in the villages. You were proud to, to follow your family and go down the mine. That's what we were born for, in them areas. But for him to come back from Afghanistan and, and he suffered with PTSD, and which is 
which is post traumatic stress, stress disorder. disorder yeah. Let's just explain that. Well, there's a documentary if people would like to see more about it uh, done on Panorama. You can still find it on YouTube called Broken by Battle. And it tells the story, and we we champion that. We've got our own fund, and we want some memorial fund, which we. Uh, contribute a lot to combat stress and it's mainly just about raising awareness mm. for veterans that have come back who are still fighting a battle and I think it's something like 20 every day still commit suicide through PTSD veterans but nobody you know realises and yeah. plugs into that they went to war they just names um, and Lee took his own life didn't yeah, he? Yeah that's right yeah tragically yeah. he did so. Yeah, very sad um, what's next for Ferocious um, by the way I love the name Ferocious Dog <laughs> it was on Radio <laughs> One uh, just before. <laughs> it's like what? it was. It was that up. It used it as a, you know, the, is it a false name or is it a real name for, <laughs> for Glastonbury for a band? And they got it right. Yeah, it's a real name. Yeah, for us, we did play Glastonbury. It's a real name. But so how did that come about then? Come on, it was yeah. Lee when he was a small boy. Really? Yeah, my son who died named the band so. Most so of it lives, what we do. So it lives. Yeah, it lives on through him going. Oh, which is absolutely fantastic. What? What next? You say that you're kind of on the sort of the cusp of like, oh, we're we doing all right. Do we kind of you know, make yeah. the you know, make the big big push? What you what are you hoping it's going to happen? Say I say I said to you, Ken. All right, all right, Ken. I'm going to invite you back in five years time. Do I introduce you as Ken, the former miner and former musician, who's now doing something else, or do I say, you know, Ken, I bow down in front of your feet <laughs> because you're a rock god. No, I, I, don't, I don't think I'd ever make a rock god, no matter, even if we had land the pyramid stage, I'd still be uh, Ken Hunsell from uh, Warsaw in North Knots, I think. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think that's what keeps you grounded, you know, doing it all yourself, and uh, we, we want to take Ferocious Dog as, as big as we can, so it mainly because of Lee's name and things like that, yeah, but yeah. we put that much into it, you know, we are focused, and we're going on tour with uh, The Levelers, which is a massive oh, right, thing, yeah, yeah. so we're doing their European tour. Uh, I mean, we're fully. I mean, we don't get no weekends off with the band. Now. It's just fa festivals all the way through, and then we're on tour with the Levelers, and then next year, you know, April time, we'll have his own tour. So it, we just don't get no rest. It, in and we, we're looking at next year now. It's already getting but it's up. but it's enjoyable. It's good. It's great. Because it is amazing. Because before you came in, you say you were you were warming up your voice because you said <laughs> yeah. it was shot from Glastonbury. It, yeah. So obviously that's the kind of thing you can it's kind of tolerate, things, can you? Yeah. Yeah. So it, it, it's one of the things. It's good to go to Glastonbury and it's a showcase. I mean, especially because we were playing on uh, the world famous left field stage, which is Billy Bragg stage, yeah, yeah. which is where I think, that, say, from our politics in music, uh, that's where Ferocious Dog should be singing. Who, who has played on that stage before? Um, you know, over the recent years or whatever. Well, it, it's uh, well. Apart from Billy Bragg, obviously, it's famous people who, who's like s spoken there because they do speakings as well. Political I've got speaking, you. So yeah. I, Tony Benn, right. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So any socialist and, you know, I mean, the Selector headlined and uh, Tom Robinson band yeah. and the King Blues played. So, you know, it, that was just this year. So big names who, who I've grown up with, I know, you know. So well, well, you mentioned the Tom Robinson. When, yeah, when I was in the sixth form, ev everybody bought yeah, their first course, Tom yeah. Robinson band album. We should have AIDS now, aren't we? <laughs> every, every single person. Um, you're going to play a song for us live. We've got your guitar yeah. here. We've got your mic up. Glass House. Tell us the story about that, if you will. The Glass. Well, this this was written about my son when he tragically took his own life. And my son, who, who plays a fiddle, he came round and we just... We started work on a song, writing a song. It's the easiest song we've ever written, and it took 20 minutes because it, it just all fell into place about Lee's last days yeah. and people who follow Ferocious Dog to, to listen to them singing it back it, oh, it chokes me on stage yeah. it really does it, you know, it's something I've had to learn to cope with while I'm performing live yeah. I suppose So, but this is testament to, testament to Lee but it also champions everybody suffering from PTSD alright let's know, just remind people that so. uh, Ferocious Dog are playing at the Wheat Sheaf in Banbury tonight. Uh, Ken, thank you for coming in. This is The Glass, live at thank BBC you. Radio Oxford. How to find my head today And I stand in my life now, can't you say To walk away will be a bigger man A body bigger fuss in my life, can't you say I 
I went and fight in a foreign land And now I find a mad impression fights with me I fight a war at such an early age They didn't prepare me for the things I had to see Today, about the beach and it's where I want to be. I walk and talk along a lonely mile. In the end, it never made much sense to me. This world's not good enough for me. So I put the wine glass down. Now we are ferocious dog and the glass. Uh, thank you, Ken, for coming in Cheers, and, and enjoy much. playing the wheat sheaf tonight in Banbury. Just get me travel out of the way. Nikki, what can you tell us about the roads of Oxfordshire? Well, it's not too busy up again on the thank you for that. It's tomorrow night. Oh, was it tomorrow night? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Don't. Shut up. I'll, I'll, I'll correct that out of the, out of the trail out of the act. So I've got, I've got tonight, I've got tonight the week right in front of me. Oh, Thank you so much. Thank you.